Hi, I'm Maggie. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you a horrendous tale of sexual and emotional abuse that happened to me at the TSA checkpoint in Birmingham, Alabama. This incident happened as I was traveling from Birmingham to my home in San Diego. I have two artificial knees, and without a body scanner, I will trigger the metal detector and be required to have a pat down. As expected, this happened to me at this checkpoint. The female assist began her pat down, was extremely, extremely invasive with her hand pressure between my thighs, between my legs, on my female body parts, on both the front and the back side. After this, she turns to me and tells me I can leave after the glove test passes. Minutes go by, a second agent comes to me and informs me the first agent found a protrusion and abnormality between my legs on the left side. I, I am, I'm shocked, you know, I'm humiliated. I don't know what to say. And so I blurt out, I don't have a penis. And she looks at me and she says, well, I'm gonna have to perform a second pat down on you. So she performs a second pat down and this one is so invasive, so uncomfortable, painful, that I would consider it akin to sexual assault. After this pat down, she turns to me and says that her findings are the same as the first, that there is a protrusion, there is an abnormality between my legs. I'm a normal female, 58 year old female. My husband, my OBGYN, my doctors have never ever told me that, that I was anything but normal. So I am in total disbelief. I think this is a joke. So she said she has to go talk to her manager and she talks to her manager, it's a male manager. There are a whole bunch of TSA agents now looking at me, men and women, discussing my private parts, discussing my abnormality between my legs. The manager comes over and asks me if I have anything I need to say. And I'm looking at him like, no, and you know, I'm totally embarrassed talking to a man. I'm totally just humiliated. And I said, I don't have a protrusion. I'll take my pants off. I'll show you I'm just a normal female. He leaves, and then they take me to a private screening room. In the private screening room, at least three or four TS agents walk in. And uh, at this point, I'm shaking, I'm crying, I'm humiliated, I'm feeling sexually assaulted. I pull my pants off and just throw them on the floor. And these women look at me like shocked. And I'm standing there, and I spread my legs, and from the waist down, all I have on are a pair of cotton underwear. And I point at my crotch, and I tell them, I said, do you see anything abnormal here? Do you see a protrusion? And uh, they look and they say, ma'am, put your pants back on. You know, this is unnecessary. Then the third screener comes up to me and she performs the third screening. Very thorough, very efficient, but she does touch every private part between my leg. And she turns to the women in the room and she says, this screening is normal. There is nothing abnormal. There's no growth. Um, there's nothing on the left side. And I'm like, of course there's not. You know, I just... I just want to get out of here. I just want to wake up from this nightmare. And at that point, um, the second TSA screener comes in who screened me, and she has a wand in her hand. And she hands it to this screener who found nothing and says, you wand her crotch. And this woman looks at her and she says, no, I'm not going to do it. My findings were normal. And she hands the, the wand back to this other TSA screener, and she wands my crotch and up and down my thighs over my private parts. You know, nothing. There's nothing there. So they have to do the third glove test, that comes back negative. I'm rushing out of this private room and the supervisor and the manager come over me, hand, hand me an evaluation form, apologize. And I looked at this evaluation form and, it, and it's like, you know, please write your comments to the TSA, TSA on how well we are doing our job. And I look at them and I say, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe that you've just subjected me to this sexual assault, this emotional assault. And there are bad guys out there doing things. I'm a 58-year-old aging baby boomer. Why, why are you picking on me? No. And then I looked at him and I said, you know what? At the very least, you need to fire these two TSA agents who did the first screening. They're either A, incompetent and untrained, or B, they're, using, they're abusing their power. And furthermore, I'm going to contact every senator, every congressman, every ethics committee, every watchdog, every advocacy group, my attorney, everyone I know, media, and let them know how horrible this incident was for me. It's been about three days since this happened. And I, in retrospect, I'm thinking about it. I'm still humiliated. I still 
get upset. I still cry thinking about the sexual abuse and how these strangers could put their hands all over me and say the things about my anatomy that they said. And I want to get this story out. Please, please have your friends, your coworkers, your family, your loved ones see this. Please let them see the egregious abuse of power that the TSA has been using on just everyday passengers like me. I don't want this to happen to any woman, man, or child like what happened to me. And I just think this needs to be stopped. You know, our country is a country of great civil liberties. Our country is a great, is a country of great, great people. And why the TSA is allowed to emotionally and sexually abuse passengers, I don't get it. If some stranger did to me what one of these TSA agents did, that stranger would be convicted of sexual assault and sent to prison. Please, please get my story out. Thank you.